Today I'm going to talk about flow rates and why you should check your flow rate in the slicer before you start printing. So here we have a big print and uh, typically when you slice it, go to the preview, it looks like this with features. So basically each color is a feature. So external perimeter is orange, internal infill is red, bridge infill is blue. What is more important if you want to optimize your print result, then you should look at volumetric flow rate. You can see here we have orange 19 cubic millimeter a second. My current setup will perform up to 25 cubic millimeter a second. Now let's take a look inside. So there's a different color. So what does this mean? Kind of greenish, which means we are at 12 cubic millimeter a second. This is not good. And why is this not good? It's not good because your heater will have to adjust to the flow rate, which means that when it goes from 12 to 19, it has to adjust to the volumetric flow in the hot end, that might affect your printing results. If you take a look at the layer, the outer perimeter, and then there's the infill. This is the last path of the infill. And then it starts a new perimeter. What happens here? Well, going from the infill at 12 cubic millimeter a second, the PVM controlled heater is working at a certain level. Let's say 70%. Now, when it goes to the perimeter, it needs to push 19 or almost 20 cubic millimeter a second. The temperature in the hot end will drop because of the added flow rate, which actually cools down the heat break from the inside and out. This means that the PVM from the controller needs to go up towards 100% to adjust the temperature to the new flow rate. Optimally, you don't want any changes in the PVM keeping the temperature in the hot end. I hope that made sense. So let's have a look here. We want the same color here. I want to be able to print that, let's say 20 cubic millimeter a second. I need to go to my print settings and you can actually limit this in your print settings. So go to your filament settings, go to advanced. Here you can put in maximum volumetric speed. This could be anything from 10 and to 60, depending on your setup. My limit is about 25. Could put this to 20, so it will override everything exceeding 20 cubic millimeter setting. Our speed will adjust. This will help us avoid skipping. So what can we adjust to get the uniform flow rate? Layer height, that's a fixed parameter, which means there are two things we can change, line width or speed. We can have a look at our speeds, all set to 60. We are are at about 20 on the infill and the perimeter. Go inside, we're down to 8 and we don't want this. It's because my infill is set to 0.5 line width while my perimeter and top infill is set to 1 millimeter. And I still want my infill to be low. I want this to be 0.5. The only thing I can adjust is speed. Let's up this to 120, which is double of the perimeter. Reslice. This looks quite good, actually. We have yellow. So we are at 20 cubic millimeter second for the infill and for the perimeter. And this is what we want. Then there will be no problem with temperature dropping. And the PVM will stay at like the same level, let's say 80% all the time during the print. This is important for a good print result. Enjoy 3D printing and I see you guys soon.